Andre Agassi wowed the crowd with a rambunctious, loud, and rebel style of play. He was known for hitting the ball as hard as he could and for his tagline, image is everything. When his career ended, he was known as being incredibly hardworking and one of the most accomplished players with eight Grand Slam titles and Olympic gold medal. There's a lot that happened in between, and we're going to tell the tale. Here we go. When Andre was 13 years old, his father took the money they had saved up and paid for three weeks of tennis training at the Boletary Tennis Academy. After 30 seconds of watching Andre play, Nick offered him a full scholarship and moved him into the academy. Three years later, at 16 years old, Agassi turned pro, and the following year, at 17, Agassi ended the year ranked 25 in the world. Andre's first Wimbledon was in 1987. He didn't last long, losing the first round to Henry LeCant in about an hour. After the match, he declared that Wimbledon was not for him, it wasn't real tennis, and he would not play at the championships because he did not have the required all-white attire. He would return in 1991, and things might be a little bit different when he stopped by again. Andre did grow as a player on the court in the next several years. In 1991, he returned to Wimbledon, and in 1992, he claimed something that had evaded him, his first Grand Slam title. He won the Wimbledon Championship match with a five-set win over Goran Ivanisevic. Even having his Wimbledon title, it was clear that Andre wasn't making the most of his talent, and to make matters worse, he required wrist surgery. Emerging after surgery, the uber-talented but not always hardest-working Andre Agassi sought the expertise of one of the game's hardest workers. 1994 linked Agassi with Brad Gilbert. The image is everything style of Andre was replaced with the hard work, grit, and winning ugly philosophy of Brad. The combo of talent and hard work quickly produced Australian and U.S. Open titles in Andre Agassi's first world number one ranking. 1997 brought Agassi a career low. His wrist injury resurfaced and personal problems were on his mind and his performance on the court fell off a cliff. His ranking dropped to 141 in the world. He wasn't able to qualify for top or even second tier ATP events and began a comeback on the Challenger Tour. Agassi did work hard and show dedication. In 98, his ranking went from number 140 to number 6 in, in the same year. This marked the best ranking increase in the history of the game. Agassi's story got even sweeter in 1999, where he claimed the one major event that had evaded him, the French Open. He was now one of only five men to have won all four Grand Slams and the only one to do the complete slam, which included the gold medal at the Olympics. He started his career as one of the most charismatic and talented players in the game. He ended it as one of the hardest workers. There's a lot that happened in between, and it was a wild journey for everyone to see. Just remember, it wasn't until Andre Agassi worked hard that he reached his peak. Success is a journey. Thank you for showing us that, Andre.